Today, I am going to give you a tour around my NASCAR collection. We're going to start off here at the door. In the top corners of the door, you got two folds of the American flag. They gave this to us at the 2019, if I'm not mistaken, Folds of Honor Quit Trip 500 at the Atlanta Motor Speedway, the hold up on lap 13. The relevance is there are 13 folds in the American flag, and that's what it re should represent. Underneath it, you had a Sunoco hat. I got this all signed back in July of 2021 at the Quaker State 400 at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. I forgot how it goes. I know there's an AJ Allmendinger. I know there's a Brandon Jones, Daniel Hemrick, and a couple others. Right here, I got a Brett Moffitt iRacing t-shirt. He drove this paint scheme at Eldora, and I got him to sign it. So that's the top part of the door, and you go down, you get a Daniel Hemrick poster. Over here, you go to see a lot of die casts. Uh, I got him in numerical order. From newest the oldest, uh, got a couple of Denny Hamlin, uh, I got a Blaney, Kenseth, another Blaney, and then Menard and Logano. And down here you got a David Reagan, a very rare Gray Galding. I hit the jackpot when I found that one. A couple of Chase Elliott paint schemes when he drove the 24 car. It amazes me how many people forgot he drove the 24 car, but he did. From the 2016 season through 2018. And that's when William Byron came into the Cup Series. And uh, he did a really terrible job his first year, for being honest here. But he, in a couple of years down the road, in 2020, he picked up his first career win at Daytona. And then fast forward to the year, he went at Homestead. So Byron is heading into the right direction. But a note said about the 24 ride. Uh, you got some more stuff going on. You got a Wally Dallenbach, Woody the Woodpecker paint scheme, the 46 car. Right here, you got a Brendan Gaughan uh, paint scheme right here for his autograph. And then you got a Michael Andretti. Michael Andretti, his name was mentioned a lot in August, if I can remember exactly. Because there was the potential of him buying Alfa Romeo out, the Formula One team, to become a owner in Formula One. But that all fell through, and now he's still just remaining in IndyCar. Got a Denny Hamlin picture right here. I got it signed. I sent it to him in the mail. Got it back fairly quick, about a month. Uh, and yeah, a Daytona International Speedway. Very cool there. Then you go back over here. Got a die cast, and you got some Martin Truex Jr. plate tags. These are from the one when he drove for Ganassi, even the 78. And then here are some of the starting lineup posters. I do not have them in order at all. I just know that it's 2014, 2016, 2017, and 2016. It was a rough year because Clint Boyer was my driver. He was racing for Harry Scott Motorsports. was not a successful team. Got some more NASCAR stuff. And then a poster by Sam Bass. And it leads you to my first shelf. Right here, you got Jimmy Johnson stuff. Right here is his race win from 2016 at Atlanta. Got an Alex Bowman car up here. I just put it up there for the time being. The championship car, another championship car. His ally paint scheme from 2019. I just decided to put it up right there. If it'll stay, all right. But you go down. Got some more Jimmy Johnson stuff with a hat. More Jimmy Johnson diecast and even more diecast of Jimmy Johnson. Now you go to the second shelf. In the back, you got a Tony Stewart little banner. And above, before I get to the bottom part, you got a Danica Patrick car. This is a color chrome, if I'm not mistaken. And it is autographed. This is her 2014 paint scheme, GoDaddy paint scheme. And, uh, if I can re remember right, she was pretty successful in this car and nearly won Atlanta that year on Labor Day week and came home fourth. So, interesting paint scheme in history there. But you go down, here is my Daniel Suarez-like stuff. Uh, got a couple of die casts, even more. 
the championship die cast. A couple 164s of a Carl Edwards right there. Got his Jupiter paint scheme. Got that in the background. But uh, here is his Stanley die cast and his autograph. I got this signed in 2019 when he was driving the 41 car. I just happened to have this on me and I got him to sign it. But right here, I have his race win die cast from Michigan in 2016. The relevance behind it is this is his first career win and in the Xfinity series. So it was pretty cool. And I also got it to be signed. And uh, yeah, you got tire marks, a little bit of rubber marks on the side. But yeah, there you go. Daniel Suarez paint scheme and win version for Michigan in 2016. Even got the winner sticker. You go down below, you got some Martin Truex Jr. memorabilia. You got the 78, 78, 78, 19, 78, 19. And uh, got a 78 car throwback paint scheme. And been the Bristol paint scheme from the All-Star Race. And his newest one from last year in 2021. Another 2021 throwback. And then you got some 164s. His Pocono race win die cast. This was his first win after many heartbreakers in 2015. Glad to see him finally get it done. And once that happened, it became a lot easier to win, which I think will be the case this year for Daniel Hemrick because Hemrick is a driver that struggled to reach victory lane. But once he got it at Phoenix last year, I think the wins are going to come a lot easier. Just look what happened to Truex. And I happen to have his autograph. I sent it by mail. Got it back pretty quick, but yeah, there's the Truex autograph. I'm going to put it back in. Even got his Bass Pro Shops hat. Thought it was pretty cool. I picked it up at a Bass Pro Shops. Even got some numerical die cast. It's starting off with ones. McMurray's autograph right there. His Bass Pro Shops. That was my first ever one I got in this collection. Go down and got some more die cast. Up here, you got, I would like to say my austin dillon and ty dillon part of the collection but i do have a tyler reddick autograph right there but here is austin dillon's car from the 2017 uh coca-cola 600 when she won that race the first time the three won since dale senior pretty cool there got some cool stuff i mean he got a ty dillon rubber card uh that's a piece of his rubber from his tire Austin Dillon Hero card with his autograph right there. A very cool down-to-earth guy. And here is a Ty Dillon card that I got to be signed. Very hard to see. Very, very hard. Go down and get a Daniel Hemrick autograph. Your defending Xfinity Series champ. Go down. More die cast. Even more. And even more. Right here, you got the Daytona 500 uh, car group. You got Davey Allison. Morgan Shepard and uh, Jeff Bodine. Right here, you got some truck series stuff. And uh, right here, staying on the truck series, you get a Ross Chastain autograph. Casey Kane stuff, his uh, Farmers Insurance, uh, Pepsi, and Great Clips. And then you got Sheldon Creed's autograph with a Kyle Bush banner. Joseph Newgard and Simon Pagano, Tony Stewart. And I'm going to keep that back. And that, uh, I'm keeping this back because there's my address. I wouldn't want to have that all over the internet, but there is an autograph right there, which is uh, Kenny Wallace. Can't remember who's up top. I know Myatt Snyder, Ben Rhodes. Let me think about the last one, and I know a Mike Helton autograph there. Oh, yeah, Christopher Bell. Right here, I got Brad Keselowski merchandise. Throwback from 2015. Xfinity paint scheme there. Go down. You got most of my diecasts I got from the uh, at the racetrack from buying the program, but there you go. Go down, you got more diecasts. Like I said, I'm going to cover this up. Got a Kaz Grala, Michael Annette, Mike uh, Harmon, Trevor Bain piece of uh, his car, and then Spencer Gallagher's autograph in the back. Right here, you got a Haley Deegan and a Ty Majeski. Chase Briscoe, and Brett Moffitt's race win from 2019 with a purple paint pen. And he got a Corey LaJoy and a Michael McDowell autograph, which I received that weekend. 
Got more Brett Moffitt die cast with a hero card from when he drove the 24 back in 2019. All right, that was 2018, 2019. I got that wrong. Uh, Chase Briscoe Eldora truck and then his cup rookie car, the High Point Mustang autograph. Got another Chase Briscoe, another one, two more up top, and then these three die cast the 60 from the Xfinity series, 14 and 14. Got my Matt Kinsip stuff, and then you go down, you got some more random stuff. Right here, you got these die cast Jeff Gordon stuff. I do have an autograph in there. And then you got my Dale Jr. stuff. Interesting story here. I bought all these Dale Jr. cards at the same time. I would not have bought them all be if, uh, if it weren't together. And I happened to get a really good deal on them all. And yeah, there you go. This is a race version, not a race version, a autograph version. Uh, interesting scenario there. His date is born to date. This was a Daytona scheme, if I'm not mistaken. And you got another race winning scheme. Go down here, you got some more random die cast. Right here, up more like up here, Tony Stewart Garage area, Jeff Gordon. And then you have a Jamie McMurray, Richard Childress, Stewart, Stewart, Earnhardt, Earnhardt, Van Ricky Stenhouse Jr. But where do I start up top? Got this big die cast, two box die cast. Hugs did a thing with him a couple years ago when I was a youngin, and I uh, bought Hugs and got this and made it, so just kept on to it. His autograph card right there, I sent that in mail. Got some more die cast, but underneath it is a program from Talladega from 2018, the year after he won Talladega in 2017, so. I got that in this part of the room. Got another autograph there. His like plain paint scheme I went with the fifth third bank. And in the back, you got an autograph right there. And then another autograph right there. And then another one in the back. But there is all of my Stenhouse stuff. Right here, for being honest here, this is a lot of random stuff. Got a Paul Menard patch of tire and fire suit. Joey Logano autograph, Ryan Blaney autograph. I don't know if y'all can see it real well. I got a couple with Joe Graft. Uh, you see it, it's, it's in blue. And then one more Joe Graft Jr. And then a Ryan Blaney at the end. Really cool one right there. We'll put Daniel Hemrick autograph in the background. Got a Joey Gase tire, Ryan Priest tire, Alex Bowman, and Casey Kane tire. Go down and get some more random die casts. A lot of other random stuff. Right here, you got some random Kevin Harvick stuff. A lot of cool paint schemes. This is from 2021. Last year, Lionel decided to make a full metal body with rubber, actual rubber tires. And this is it right here, Kevin Harvick's. You got some more stuff. And right here, this is not Kevin Harvick's autograph, if you're wondering. It is his former team owners, Richard Childress. And uh, he only signed one person at the time's autograph, and that was for me, and I thought it was pretty cool. But I'll get to the top stuff here in a minute, but we're just going to get the shelves done. Uh, you got this Harvick, Ty Dillon, Chris Buescher. You got a couple of die casts right there. Mostly Xfinity cars. And here is my Bush brother part of the collection. Up here you got a Kurt Busch autograph. Another Kurt Busch autograph. Got a couple of Kurt Busch die cast. Go down and got a Kurt Busch autograph. Kurt Busch autograph. Another autograph. His Kentucky race win from 2019. Where he edged out his brother at the line. This is a wrecked version that I bought at the Atlanta Motor Speedway here in 2016. Thought it was pretty cool at the time, so I picked it up. Race one sticker from 2019. More die cast with some KB Kyle Bush stuff, and then more Bush stuff, and then here's a piece of Kyle Bush fire suit and tire, and there's some more box die cast. But the coolest thing out of this all was this. 
This is a piece of Kurt Busch car from the one car. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a part of the number. Monster's logo is crooked and it's not this straight. And uh, I reckon it's came come off the car like this instead of like that. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Underneath it, you got a lot of books, hero cards. I mean, they got a die cast. I got to find a place to put it. I mean, you got programs. I can pull them out. I got a Kyle Larson autograph, Ryan Newman, and uh, Alex Bowman, and so on. And I got some stickers right here. I got to really find a place for these. Camp and World Truck Series. The Five. And if you're, if you're wondering who the Five is coming from, it is Kyle Busch. The Racing Warehouse. Racing Warehouse. Racing Warehouse. Mac Tools. And Wix Filters. Right here, you got my Tony Stewart stuff. His Darlington Throwback Paint Scheme. With many of his 14 die cast. 20 stuff with two bobbleheads. And more Stewart stuff. And even more with a Sheldon Creed autograph with it all. Right here, you got my Mark Martin stuff, uh, Viagra paint scheme, Viagra, and then a couple other random stuff with a Michael Waltrip autograph and another one behind it. And then, uh, yeah, Mark Martin. Right here, you got my Dale Earnhardt Sr. stuff, uh, Good Wrench, more Good Wrench, and go down here. Yeah. And I even got this cool little thing right here. It opens up. Got his die cast that was produced in 2001, the year he died. And there's a picture of the man himself, the Intimidator, Dale Sr. Above, you got a bottle, lunchbox, and a die cast. Right here, you got the Coca-Cola 600 hat from 2005. Quaker State 400 flag, or towel they gave us. And there goes that. McMurray poster in the back. Right here, you got a Mark Martin thing. Some cards. And then he has some of these collectibles. And he got a Formula One France 2018 hat and a Belgium 2018 hat. And you work your way down to my Petty memorabilia. This ranges from Richard Petty, Kyle Petty, Bubba Wallace, and so on. And Eric Jones. But yeah, got a lot of cool stuff right there. And uh, I like this one a lot. This is Alvarola's throwback from 2015. And a Bubba Wallace tire piece, of course. And then you got this hat right here, but it's signed by many people. I know you got Tyler Reddick in there, Daniel Suarez, Daryl Waltrip, which is right there. Grant Infinger. So many truck drivers. Austin Hill, Michael Winnett. But yeah. Right here, you got Ryan Priest and Chris Busher's autograph. Same for this thing right here. Priest and uh, Busher. Right here, I got this sign last year. This is from the Quaker State 400. I forgot whose autograph that was, but I can just tell you who, who I got on here. I know that's Bob Pockris, Logano. I got a Bowman. I got a Byron. And I got a couple of spotters, Brett Griffin. Uh, the spotter, uh, Freddie Kraft, and uh, what's his name? I can't remember off the top of my head. TJ Majors. But right here, you got my Clint Boyer stuff. Clint Boyer is my favorite driver of all time. No debate about it. Got an autograph right there. His race win, like, card from Martinsville with some confetti. I don't know if it's real or not from the actual event. Please help me down in the comment section of that. Got some die cast. His Martinsville race win. And his Duck Dynasty paint scheme, which was autographed. Winning sticker right there. Ticket from that race, and then stuff like that. Go down here. Got a die cast. Where's that? Right here. It's autographed by Clint Boyer. Very hard to see. Another autograph by Boyer, but here goes my Boyer stuff. And down here is a lot of random Xfinity series and and uh, old nationwide series stuff. And go down even more random stuff. But I said I'll come up here and show you some of the wall before I get out of here. Brett Moffitt, Daniel Hamrick, Brett Moffitt, Casey Kane, Cody Coughlin, Ryan Hunter Ray, and a Daniel Hamrick. And funny about Daniel Hamrick, he was my first ever autograph. And uh, yeah, got Spencer Boyd, Brennan Gunn, Elliot Sadler, 
Daniel Hemrick, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Very hard to see. I don't know if you can see or not. Cody Coughlin, Brennan Gaunt, and two Ryan Blaney's with a Pez car at the end. Right here, you get a Grand Infinger, Stenhouse, Joey Logano. Very surprisingly, he was a really nice driver. Uh, Clint Boyer, Corey Roper, Stephen Light, autograph, and a Gus Dean. Ben Rhodes, Austin Hill, Chad Finley, Garrett Smithley, Harrison Burton, Todd Gilliland. Two drivers going for the Cup Series Rookie of the Year this year. Very interesting. Ryan Priest, another Ryan Priest. I'm talking about Priest. There is an autograph underneath all them diecasts. Chris Busher, a Chris Busher autograph. Chad Fincham, another Chad Fincham, and a Grant Enfinger. Uh, you got a Chris Busher autograph there. An Eric Jones autograph in the middle. Very hard to see, but he got one right here. It's very clear. You got a Ryan Blaney poster. This big old poster right here from 2014, which is obviously had a lot of wear and tear on it. Kurt Busch hat. Very cool hat, actually. Brett Moffitt, Spencer Boyd, and Daniel Hemrick. And uh, underneath this, you got some newer diecasts. Michael Winnett, Larson, Larson, Larson. Casey Kane autograph. Allgaier, Elliott, Hamlin. Bell, Jones autograph. Another Jones and another Jones autograph. Cendrix. And then you got the Bubba Wallace's. Michael McDowell, Chris Busher autograph. Kyle Larson autograph. And Eric Jones. And I got an open space for more diecasts to be put. And then you got some older ones. And he got a big piece of sheet metal. This is from the 2021 Daytona 500 off to the 47 machine of Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who races for JTG Daughtery Racing and uh, who is owned by Jody and Tag Schechter and co-owned by NBA legend Bad Daughtery. I uh, got some wear and tear right here. got some rubber marks. And then the back of it, uh, you got a Chevy, like, I don't know, a serial number they gave. There's a wallet come from, the NASCAR, and you got some cool stuff right here. But that is the 47 sheet metal that I got. And that is pretty much it of my whole collection of NASCAR diecasts. But everybody, though, remember to please like and subscribe and share this video on with someone else. Have a good one.